Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another download. Thank you so much for being here, beloveds. I will all as well. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will that you all are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. I will all is blissed in your world. I will everything is everything for you all that you're feeling amazing, that you are navigating this energy with no problems, that it's just like, what? Bring it on. Like, you just ready for whatever. I'm feeling that energy anyway. So even if you aren't in that space, I feel that's the space you need to take. Um... Welcome to all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love. Thank you all so much for just being my real ones, my A ones, my day ones. I appreciate you all for just your unconditional love, just for your appreciation, just for, you know, the readings, just showing love and light, just always having positivity. You know, you rotate the love and I rotate it right on back to you. To any of you beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. You already know. You got a special place in my heart. To anyone that may be new today, tuning in for the first time, maybe this is your second time, thank you so much for tuning in. I will that. The way that I read the messages that come out today, that it resonates with you, that you find uh, something here that you could take away, that you get some inspiration, that you get a little download, maybe confirmations of what you're looking for, maybe the timestamp on this video or the thumbnail, perhaps even the title may have drawn you in. There are no accidents at all, nor are there quinky dinks. This was divine timing and in divine order that you ended up in this reading at this time. So welcome beloveds. Um, so if you are new, uh, I am a clairaudient reader. So the way that it works, the name of the songs of my music that I play, the name of the artist, maybe the title of the track, maybe the number on the time clock, you know, the time on the time clock. Um, it may correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And they all just kind of blend very beautifully together. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart and see what other placements you have and then tune into other readings to see, you know, what other messages might be out there for you. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has happened to pop up in your feed, that was divine time and beloveds, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so. So without further ado, I'm not going to do too much speaking. You know, I want to kind of tap into the energy already and see what we got coming in. I feel exciting energy. I ain't even gonna hold you, beloved. I feel good energy. So I'm really excited about this. So um, let's go ahead, do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended master, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beloveds. So the time on the Klizak, we have 621, which is nine. And nine is the number of the hermit. So I'm absolutely feeling like some of you all, if you have been in that kind of like that incubation or kind of in, you know, that, that hibernation type of energy, um, even if you were in that hermit mode, period, um, you, you're coming out of that. I feel like, you know, maybe the summertime, you're going to show up and show out. You're just going to reveal this new you, four, four, four on the clock. Absolutely something beautiful is coming out. I feel there's this, this, um, 
like you're charging forward because that 444 reduces to 16 and you know 16 is the uh number of the uh tower but it's also you know an ending that also denotes a new beginning and you know something that was destroyed perhaps this old facade or this old perspective mindset this old version of you and now you are kind of emerging as someone new that seven is associated uh with the uh chariot so i get a sense of almost like you know like having to rid yourself of some old version to transform or emerge i should say as someone new um the nine is about change so that's why i'm getting the sense of something changing like this old version being rid you ridding yourself cleansing yourself of some old version of you and transforming or moving forward or being more assertive to go to forward in this new energy or in this whole new vibration if you will the nine the hermit is very masterful um, very wise soul uh, because it removes you remove yourself from all of the noise the chatter all of the confusion to um, really you know commune and consult with your higher self if you will with your own um, higher self or with you know you, you tap into that Christ consciousness or into that God frequency uh, maybe there's a meditative type of energy you've been in where you've been kind of um, just kind of secluded. I get a sense of like secluded, but not secluded and, and self-loathing, secluded and learning, secluded and improving, secluded and growing the sense of awareness or the self-discovery. So it's a very empowering energy. Um, in addition to um, being in isolation, um, it's taught you that sense of, of independence as well, um, that you can rely on yourself. Maybe that was something that you needed to learn. Maybe there was a codependency in the past uh, that you had to kind of release yourself um, from. And now you're more independent and you're more um you've changed, I feel like for the better, uh, that hermit is a wizard. So the answers you always seek are found within and you take the time to go within either through meditation, as I said, contemplating, um, looking at things, you know, um, introspectively, you know, or, you know, re reflecting, um, on things that may have occurred and you obtain a, a different perspective perhaps from your self-analysis or from your assessment. So it's a very empowering energy. Um, with that nine, I'm also getting a sense of like feeling this sense of self-love, you know, this, this, this sense of gratitude, this sense of self-discipline, um, just really knowing your worth. That's my, you know, me, myself, and I vibration, you know, that energy, that de la soul energy, me, myself, and I, the nine of cups is really about, you know, maintaining that sense of self-respect. Um, and when you do open up, it will be for someone that you deem your equal or someone you feel you could have an equal exchange of give and take. Uh, someone who may speak your love language, someone that may be on your same frequency or wavelength, you will know because you will attract what you are in that vibration. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy I'm picking up. So the song that's playing on the playlist is we have, look at that, we got True. So uh, I got to bring, I, I don't think I'm going to do this all, all reading because this is a pretty big playlist. I mean, pretty big iPad to keep uh, you know, showing, I'm just the type of reader that likes to show and prove, um, you know, just so you can see what I'm saying and not just believe what I'm saying, just cause I'm saying it. I like to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this song is called spread my wings. So with that spread my wings, I absolutely feel like you're flying baby. Like whatever cage you have just freed, been freed from, whether that it was a circumstance, uh, maybe some of you literally were in jail and, and now you're free. Um, maybe you were in a relationship that felt like um, you were in prison or you were being, um, you know, kind of like controlled or manipulated. Um, it, a very dark, looming energy, nonetheless, is, is what I'm getting a sense of. But now I just feel this sense of 
like you could just exhale. I feel the sense of like just just feeling liberated, feeling free and, and willing to, you know, kind of go after whatever it is that you now, you know, desire or deem to be um, your your truth or something you are passionate about about so that's a beautiful beautiful energy so what we have on oops, something just flew out so we're going to keep this to the side the bottom of the deck we got 81 look at that so we started the reading with nine and now you have the um bottom of the deck the card in the numerology is also 981 breaks down to nine and it says what leadership so this is that energy i was feeling like this new energy like this surge because as i said that 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 hermit energy the nine is like a wizard. That's a wise soul, old soul, very experienced type of energy. Someone who looks back in awareness, someone who takes accountability, someone who reflects, someone who, you know, it's, it's really about um, self, like I said, self-awareness or self-assessment to improve or to plan to move in a different direction or to make better moves moving forward. But with this leadership, this is boss energy. This is someone who's absolutely in control. They have a sense of self-control, but they're also in control of their life, the direction that they take in their life. This is someone who is in a very like I feel divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Perhaps you are, you know, in a leadership role in your career or maybe in your business. You are the CEO. Um, you know, you are the one calling the shots. You are the one making the deals um, and sealing the deals. I heard sealing the deals. So it's like you are in an energy of like, you know, just feeling very empowered, feeling very strong. And there is the sense that you are, um, you know, kind of like... Um, you have what it takes to kind of see greatness in others. So it's like you are perhaps like um, forging some sort of team to work with. I don't know if you are like recruiting others. I, I just get a sense of like you being someone that others are learning from. So maybe if you're not in a leadership role per se, maybe you are someone who may have your own um, social media platform where you have others, you know, you have others, um, you know, kind of tuning in and kind of taking notes or learning. Um, you're engaging others in, uh, you know, in a way where, you know, others are inspired or others feel a sense of, um, motivation. They get motivated when they listen to you or watch you or when they hear from you. But this energy is very empowering. This nine is, you know, very much associated, like I said, with not only the hermit, um, but it's also that vibration of someone who has self-love, self-worth, self-discipline, someone who's also um, very, very protective of their energy. I get a sense of protection uh, because I'm also seeing the nine of wands and especially with spread my wings and how I was feeling like you may have felt imprisoned or even if this was a, a frame of mind or a state of mind you could have been, um, there's now this sense of clarity because after the nine is the 10 and the 10, as we said, you know, that that is um, there's a shift, you know, a, a turning point, if you will, things are now going to turn because that chapter is, is now closed or that chapter is now ending or that cycle is now completing. So I feel this nine is just showing that there's some positive changes that have taken place. So let's see what cards flipped out and chose themselves. We have uh, three cards. So we're going to take these. These will be the cards for what um, the overall energy is. So the first card we have is number 44. 44 is a beautiful, powerful number. 444, I saw that earlier. Um, that is associated with the angels, but this 44 reduces to 8. And I feel that this is just showing like your effort, your hard work, your dedication, your drive, your ambition, um, especially as a leader, you have to have all of the aforementions. You can't be, you know, somebody who's just, you know, lazy and lackadaisical um, to, you know, and, and, and still be a leader. You know, um, you, you, this is showing that you've planted the seeds, you know, not only did you plant them, but you watered them, you cultivated the earth, you, you really put forth the effort to obtain, um, some sort of blessing or wish fulfillment that nine also could be associated with wishes coming true, dreams coming true. Um, and this is all because you've, you first showed yourself love. 
um, and you're now going to attract what you are. So you are just like emitting this energy, I feel, of um, just kind of like this regalness, this royalness, because um, the nine is also given like the nine of pentacles, someone who is very, very... Um, you know, stable, self-sufficient, someone who's also very secure in who they are, someone who's grounded, someone who's not afraid of, um, you know, to work hard. Um, but this is a beautiful energy and it shows, you know, the sense of like, as I said, self-love because the four is always, that deals with the heart chakra. Um, but it's also the number of the emperor. Um, and you know, that is, you know, a very, uh, strong and powerful energy um that's the authoritarian that could be a masculine energy like a father figure it could even be a boss and i'm just getting a sense of like because it's a double number and when i see double numbers i feel that's what you're attracting to you i feel it's really just you know highlighting the healing that has taken place within you within your heart chakra um, even with that nine, as I said, the hermit, like that's what you take that time out to do is to do the introspective work or to, you know, self-reflect and in doing so you can, you know, make those changes, make those necessary, um, changes. And we can see here, this is how you've grown. Um, you know, you've, you've gradually, uh, gotten to this place of self-love, self-worth and self-value. And this is also saying that there are bl blessings, wish fulfillments that are, um, you know, rapidly uh, approaching, you know, approaching you. This could even be someone who's um, on your frequency, someone that you may be attracted that may see you as a wish fulfillment or see you as someone that they have great love for. Or this could just be two people who are very stable um, in themselves and, and have, um, you know, that emotional intelligence within themselves first, like they've done the, the work on themselves. And so now you're attracting someone else that also has done the work. So this is a very beautiful energy I'm picking up on. We also have five. So I also spoke to, there were some changes being made, but I feel like a conversation um, is also going to change something or is there's, there's the potential for change to happen if you open up to having a conversation. The five is associated with the Hierophant. So I am feeling like there's this sense of maturity. Like if there was someone holding back from having a conversation or avoiding a conversation, I feel like now there's going to be this openness to finally sit down and, you know, converse, you know, to really sit down and, and really, um, you know, um, really iron out. I'm hearing ironing out something. Um, even if this isn't with another person per se, maybe this is something that you're doing, uh, personally, because the fives are associated with the Hierophant, which is really a very studious energy. Um, it's really about building your wealth of knowledge. Um, and just also like, you know, learning, learning from others, learning from elders, learning from master teachers. Uh, this could be you going through some sort of rites of passage, um, you know, studying, like I heard understudy, uh, maybe you're being initiated into a certain practice, whether it's Reiki healing, maybe you are, you know, um, someone who's going through some sort of spiritual awakening, whatever it is, this change is definitely um, saying that there is some, some maturation, some growth that's taken place, uh, with this eight and this five, that's 13. So I was getting a sense of like, you know, emerging someone new and the death of this old version of you earlier. And this is what I'm seeing here. So the reason why something has died is because you were healing, you've healed from, you know, former, former circumstances or past pains, past wounds, past traumas, past circumstances that caused great, um, great pain. And, and I'm hearing the word agony. So I don't know if, if, if this is related, um, solely to relationships and love ships. This could even be some of you healing from certain, uh, health conditions or physical ailments. Um, cause I'm that agony word is just really triggering, um, you know, a different perspective outside of love, but that transformed you, you know, uh, pain, you turned the pain, 
I feel into power, you know, into a superpower. You kind of like, you, you, you transmuted it, you know, you, you kind of like transmuted that pain and turned it into power, almost like made it, you made it work for you and not against you. So it's like, if you were in a state where you were agonizing over a situation, instead of sitting around, like I said earlier, and just self-loathing and, and, and woe is me and, you know, just crying and whimpering and just all depressed, you instead turn that into an energy of like, you know, finding that, that balance and, and, you know, co-creating with source. Um, because that eight is given the star energy to me as well. I'm just seeing like that star who has just taken their power back in a situation and now is, is turning a situation that was meant to destroy them, um, turning it around in their favor. So that's very empowering. And 13 is your energy. The death is really just about, you know, startling metamorphosis, going through enormous change, whether within yourself, you know, internally, or whether this is changes in your environment and your relationships in your social, um, you know, uh, connections in your work connections, but this change has transformed you nonetheless. Um, the song that's playing now is Give Me Your Love, and this is by Curtis Mayfield. And so maybe you were dealing with a love situation for some of you with 48 uh, financial discipline. I'm also getting a sense that some of you all have taken, you know, control of your finances. I feel like you're more financially um, literate or you are, um, you know, maybe you are taking some classes on learning how to, you know, maybe, you know, uh, trying to learn how to do your own taxes or maybe you're learning how to, um, you know, you're just learning how to, to manage your money better. Um, with this, this energy of leadership, I do feel that there is a conscious effort, um, to make these changes. I heard implement. So spirit, uh, corrected me. So it's not like you're, you're not making, you've already implemented or, you know, this is what spirit is saying, implement these changes. This energy, the three of pentacles I get from this 48, which breaks down to the 12, I get a sense of like collaborations, working together. I'm hearing partnerships. I'm hearing unions, like you're uniting with other people to, you know, generate some sort of wealth. I feel like you have been mastering your craft. You've been in a very like creative energy, or you may be a very creative person. Person, and whatever it is that you're doing is going to generate some sort of financial wealth because we see here clearly that you are a leader. Um, and when you are in a leadership energy, um, you definitely are someone who um, knows how to strategize, knows how to, um, you know, knows how to kind of like observe situations so that you can make wise business decisions. So that's could be an energy that you're in right now. I feel like your efforts are absolutely going to really be fruitful, like something you've done. Like it's almost like your seeds are blossoming and blooming and they will harvest. That's what I'm hearing. Um, with this with this um, 13, the four, and then we got the three, the seven, that seven is the same number I saw earlier, um, where we have this, you know, that chariot energy I was speaking of earlier. So I do feel like you're going to be more, you're, you're just more assertive. Like I, I just get a sense of like, you're no longer um, shying away from the things that you want to do. Maybe in the past, you allowed other people to kind of talk you out of doing certain things that you really were passionate about, or maybe you didn't have that sense of um, confidence in yourself or confidence in your ability to pursue certain things. So you were looking for support and the wrong people were around you. And instead of them encouraging you and, and bigging you up and, and, and kind of boosting you along, um, they kind of like stole your joy or just kind of took the wind out of you and was like, oh, that's never going to work. That's a bad idea. And some of them could have tried to steal your idea. Some of them could be kind of like a chameleon. Like these, these people could be like, oh, that'll never work. And then they're going to the drawing board and kind of trying to do what you were doing, you know? So that's why it's very important to keep, 
um, your business to yourself, all of your business, whether it be your plans for your business, plans for your life, uh, whatever you're working on, whatever you're pursuing, it's good to keep those things to yourself. Um, I know it's hard sometimes when you're excited about certain things, you want to share that news, but Everybody's not going to be happy for you. So it's best to just keep things to yourself. And maybe some of you had to learn that the hard way um, uh, because there could have been some folks who could definitely have been kind of, um, I just get a sense of like, you know, just a chameleon type of energy, someone around just kind of like, I get an ear hustler. Uh, so, so, so this could be someone that you may not even speak to, um, but they're still listening. You know, they, you may not speak to them, but they still watching. So it's that type of energy I'm picking up on. I don't know why, but it's not, it, it, it's not affecting you either way. Cause you're still making the changes and you're still manifesting. You know, you, you all are master manifestors. You, you've already learned how to tap into that alchemical force. And you are aware that you could tap in. You are aware that you can co-create with source. Many of you are alchemists. Many of you are magic. Many of you know how to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, and ether because many of you may do your own spiritual rituals. You may have your altars. You may be very spiritually, um, you know, attuned. So this is a very beautiful energy of collaboration, partnerships. This is the overall energy. Maybe you're getting a sense of having that around you now. But with the seven, I also get a sense of, you know, dubious energy, you know, so be mindful of that um, because that seven is just giving like the devil energy to me. In another deck, the seven is associated with like a deceptive, envious type of energy. And I am feeling that. And that has been kind of looming around Scorpios for quite some time. And so I feel these changes that you're making, these conscious changes are perhaps making someone a little jelly. You know what I'm talking about? So let's go ahead and tap in and see who or what you're attracting to you. We have Mariah Carey singing Vision of Love. So many of you have visualized um, perhaps a love that you would like to have in your life. Maybe there's certain characteristics that you're imagining or visualizing. Some of you could be manifesting like a love partnership because I was picking up with that energy that there could have been some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of special partnership that could be coming in, especially with the double fours. Um, this is two people who have healed that heart chakra and now that heart is opened, open to love. You're ready to love. So with this vision of love, many of you could have visualized, could have manifested, done love rituals, um, candle rituals to bring in, draw in this love. And I feel like with that vision of love, whatever it is you envision as love, as characteristics of love or as your love language, whomever you're attracting to, you will have exactly that. This 81 is still on the bottom of the deck. 81 um, leadership, the person you're attracting to you is absolutely going to be someone who is also um, on your frequency and vibration because I believe you attract what you are. So if you're constantly attracting drama in your life, there's something that you got to, you got to self check, you know, 27, 27, nine, nine. So that's just confirming that there may be some changes you have to make within the self. That nine is again, that nine, nine is 18, that 18 reduces to nine. So that's really just kind of saying like, again, you know, the 18 is the moon, if I'm not mistaken. So there's some shadow work that may need to take place that, 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 you know, kind of excavating some of those old, you know, old, um, that old, those old habits, that old energy, that stagnant, stuck energy, or that lackadaisical, or, you know, that the things that, that kind of hold you back and keep you from happiness. So those are the things that needed to change. Those are the things that you needed to purge. Um, 77, another double number. So absolutely very spiritual energy, just all around Scorpios. Scorpios are naturally clairvoyants, naturally psychics, naturally intuitive. So you are attracting another like mind. As I said, this could be another person who is highly spiritual as well. Someone who's also, you know, like I said, just kind of like on the same frequency, speaks the same love language, maybe into the same things, have the same dreams, aspirations. Um, this could be someone that you know, um, with vision of love. This could be someone that you've literally manifested. We have Bob Marley um, Jammin. Someone uh, definitely they can be named Bob. Someone could be um, from Jamaica. Um, I definitely feel with Jammin. 
I do get a sense of like, this is going to be someone that, you know, they like to go out and just, you know, cut the rug. They like to get down. They like to, you know, have fun and dance. And, you know, so you guys may like to, you know, you may just enjoy music. Um, maybe this is someone that will take you, you know, on exotic trips to Caribbean islands. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is going to be someone who's very um, thoughtful in that way. Um, but I do feel also, you know, someone's name could be Bob or Marley, first, middle or last. Or someone could absolutely be from um, from Jamaica. So let's tap in. Someone could be a Rasta. I heard Rasta. So someone could be a Rasta. Um someone could be a Rasta. So divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios. What messages do you have? Bottom of the deck. This is who or what you're attracting to you. So we have the number 61 and it says self-love. See that? I mentioned self-love and voila. So what you're attracting to you is this feeling of self-love, self-worth, self-value. This is because someone also, you know, that you could be attracting is also asserting themselves. That 61 breaks down to seven, which is also the number of the chariot that I was speaking of earlier. And that chariot, you know, it has those two horses, which represent, in my opinion, like a yin yang energy. That's very, um, very balanced energy. So this is someone who's coming in very harmonious. You know, this could be like a twin flame. This could be someone that could be like a spiritual partner. Look at this. I didn't even see this. So the bottom of the deck, for our, you know, when I pull how they feel about you, we got love partnership. So many of you could be attracting new love, especially with that vision of love by Mariah Carey. I definitely feel like some of you all have visualized this, manifested this. You have called this in, drew this in. You've asked for this. So whatever intentions, I feel like it's it's coming in this physical reality, like it's it's coming into fruition. Um, and this is someone who also loves themselves. This is someone who's done a lot of work to get to that place where they have not only a sense of self-love, but they also, you know, they, they know how to love you right. Um, and it's because they love themselves. Um, when someone doesn't have self-love, they don't have the capacity um, to love you. You know, they don't have that autonomy um, to love you in the way that you deserve. So this is someone who I feel has done a lot of work. This could even be your energy, a lot of work, because this is the seven, seven deals with not only that chariot, but it's also associated with the crown. The crown speaks to you reaching that level of Christ consciousness. You know, that's a very profound level of self-awareness or, or understanding of yourself, the world and everything around you. So this is someone who has grown personally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Um, and this is definitely, uh, you know, an energy that you could also be in, as I said earlier, uh, because you have learned um, love was an inside job, you know, and now this makes you more assertive. This makes you, um, when you love yourself, you know, your worth, you know, your value, so you don't settle. And so even if there's someone looming, even if there's this devil energy that I keep picking up on, it's like, you're not going to give them the time of day because you see them before they even show up. It's like you speak energy right now. Um, so their energy is going to already, it's going to like set off all of the red flags and all of the alarms, um, you know, internally, you will know if someone is coming around faking the funk, 32, 32, five, five, that, that old version of you is dead. That 10, I'm feeling like that, that cycle is completed. And I feel like it's a new cycle because five, five reduces to 10 and 10 deals with the wheel of fortune, which means that, you know, it's time for a new cycle. It's time for things to turn around. And I feel that there's also something that's destined to happen, destined to take place. Um, and this could even be a destiny type of love that you're going to feel with this person that you're attracting to you. So we have, um, Michael, uh, what's this Michael Wyckoff and it's called looking up to you. So remember I was saying many of you are, you know, perhaps like, you know, you may have your own social, um, social media platforms where others may look up to you. And I was saying like someone may be listening or someone could be watching. Um, well, that's confirmation looking up to you. So someone is definitely kind of watching, you know, they're learning from you. They're teaching even your haters learn. And that's why they hate you because they can't be you or they're not you. And instead of working on themselves, they project, you know, so this is an energy of like, you may have a lot of people that look up to you, a lot of people that depend upon you, a lot of people that, are inspired or motivated by you. Um, with look up to you, I also feel like this is whoever you're attracting to you. This is someone that's going to be very like, 
this is a supportive person, but this is someone that really is just like, they see your light. They see how strong you are. They see your, your, your wisdom, you know, it's just like they, they admire. It's a, it's a, a very beautiful way, uh, to admire. So this is a very, um, a very caring soul. Like this is someone who isn't, a, isn't shy to show that appreciation. You know, other people like to play too cool for school. You know, some people don't like to give others, you know, um, you know, compliments because they don't want to get other people's heads, you know, blow up somebody's head or their ego. Um, but this isn't a person that, 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 um, worries about those things. Like this is someone that's very genuinely, um, just intrigued and, and, and they look up to you in a way like they, they're inspired, uh, by you with this love partnership that 26 is also eight. So that's, again, this could definitely feel like a, a, a wish fulfillment or something that you manifested because you set the intention because whomever this person is, is going to exhibit each and every one of those characteristics characteristics and attributes that you may have written down in your manifestation journals, like whatever it was, whether it be like, I want somebody that's going to be, you know, like an alpha male, you know, someone communicative, someone loyal, someone faithful, trustworthy, honest, you know, like whatever it is, this person's going to, you know, not only exhibit that, but they will, they will show and prove that they are who they say they are. Whereas in the past, you probably dealt with a lot of people who were just like the gift, the gabba, just talk, 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 just talk holes in your head and make empty promises. And now you're going to have someone that's going to actually like show and prove they're going to, their actions are going to be followed by their words. Sometimes their actions will be, you know, they, their words will precede the action. They're going to show you. And then they're going to say, see, I told you I was going to do X, Y, and Z. You know, I got you like, this is somebody that's going to be very supportive and have your back. I just get that sense. But this eight here, I definitely also get a sense of like, you know, some of you could be stressing over, you know, love. When am I going to find love? Um, I hear this in every reading. Everybody's always talking about love, 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 love. But, you know, you attract what you are. So keep working on you. And the more you work on you, I'm telling you, the quicker um, you can manifest what you want. You know, this isn't about sitting around and waiting. I've been saying that for years. This is about still staying busy, still working on yourself. Because it's really like, um, you know, patience is a form of action. So you can't just be patiently waiting, <laughs> sitting, on, you know, and, and twiddling your thumbs. You have to be like action. It's an action, you know, that has to follow. Um, even with your manifestation, even with your, your magic that you do, you can't just, you know, light a candle and think it's going to do something. You have to set the intention. You got to put that intention into that candle. You have to write out your petition. You got to call upon, you know, that angel or that ancestor or that, you know, that um, deity, um, you know, to come to you, to help bring forward whatever it is you are uh, wanting to manifest or desiring, I should say, to manifest. So it's like there's a whole um, vibration and energy you have to be in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Who is this person, our beloved Scorpio? How do they feel about our beloved Scorpio? Look at that. <laughs> Let me finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have 93. They feel happy. Didn't I say they admire you? This is elation. You bring joy. They look up to you. They think you're wise. They think you're just strong. Think you're beautiful. This is just, you're, you're attractive. You're, you're just a very nurturing, wise soul. You just give off regal, royal vibes. Like, you know your worth. You know your value. You don't settle uh, is what I'm getting because this 93 reduces to 12, which reduces to three. This person is like contemplating on how to approach you. Maybe they're seeing you in a different light because maybe in the past they didn't see, you know, didn't know your worth. They didn't, they didn't value you, I should say. And now it's like, they're looking at things from a different perspective. Um, they see you now shining, you know, because we have, uh, that song look up to you. So they definitely, when you're in empress energy, you know, in that empress energy, the divine feminine, she's very attractive. Um, so you could be, you know, just naturally a beautiful person inside and out. It's not all about physical beauty. You could be the prettiest face, but your attitude can shape <laughs> how attractive you are. Trust. Um, sometimes people's minds make them less attractive, literally. Like you, you could be fine as hell, but if you dumb as a dox, box of rocks, you're not attractive. If you're pretty and you're mean spirited and ugh, ugh, snooty, like that can just take deduct attraction 
off the board. So this person is just sees you as a light. You just exude beauty, exude confidence. You exude wise dome. Like this person is someone that just feels drawn to you. With that 12, they're definitely in, you know, this this contemplative state because that's the hanged man. Uh, so they're kind of like forced in that position. Um, you know, because maybe there was some, some ignorance in the past, maybe some airheadedness or some, some stubbornness or some just naivety, whatever it was, it's like someone was forced to look at things from a different perspective. And now they're seeing the light, they're seeing the truth, or they're seeing something in a whole new way. Uh, the card that flew off of how they feel about you, manifestation. So your master manifesto, just as I said, I was saying that you all, you know, whether through your visualizations or magic spells or love spells, whatever it is you're doing, they see you as someone who's like absolutely like a wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that knows how to get what you want. Um, and you don't need to step on toes and cut corners to get what you want. You're the type of person that's very, very obedient to spirit and very righteous. You know, I just get a sense of righteousness. I get a sense of someone who is a straight shooter. Like you don't, you don't like, you haven't made it this far by being grimy. You know how some people, they climb the ladder of success by stabbing multiple people in the back. You know what I'm saying? And with you, I just feel like there was a lot of inner work done. There was a lot of soul work. There's a lot of emotional maturity that took place. There was a lot of purging. You know, there was a lot of soul work that you've done. And this is why you're a master manifester. This is why your dreams are coming true. This is why blessings are pouring in. This is why the wheel is turning in your favor. Because I feel like you have learned, you know, the art of alchemy. You've learned that you are the alchemist and you're tapping into that alchemical force to bring bring about, you know, whatever changed circumstance to bring about whatever this is that you're manifesting, whatever you're working on, whatever you're cooking up. I heard cooking up, whatever it is you do. Some of you could be chefs. Some of you are perhaps pursuing a career in catering. Um, maybe you make cupcakes or maybe you make something very simple, but it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's a money. It's, it's, it's like a hit when you, you, when you bring, you know, your, um, your special dish to say like potlucks, it's like a hit. Everybody's like diving for that, you know, that, that, um, that plate, that last plate that you, that you presented. And so it's like, whatever it is you're doing, that's just, you know, an example. Um, for many of you, it's just like, it's going to be successful. Like you're manifesting something. And this has a lot to do with your good deeds. Like I'm getting good karma. Seeds you've planted in the past, they're now harvesting, as I said earlier. So whatever you've done in your past is what's garnering and what's assuring you the success that you're receiving and the blessings that are coming in because I'm getting like, um, you know, wishes coming true. And I feel like you're not only going to be emotionally fulfilled, but financially fulfilled as well and satisfied. I feel like it's just showing like your work, your ambition, your drive, your focus, your discipline, your tenacity, you know, all of those things that you did even like you know even when you were dog tired you were committed you know even when you didn't have you know the energy um you still were 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 um you know you were still um you were still resilient you know you still showed that sense of um determination if you will so this 93 on the bottom of the deck and we're about to pull for what's hidden so you do have a happy ending i was feeling like you were going to be excited like good news is coming or just good things in general especially after a difficult time like it's just it's only right that you know you get rewarded and recognized for the work you do now if you didn't do no work then you know you may not see no blessings but if you've been putting in the work and if this message resonates with you and if you've been through some really dark periods and you've done it on your own trust me you have some beautiful energy coming in for y'all so we have right now living for the love of you by the Isley brothers so some of you all are going to have someone that's going to be very committed to you they're going to live you know for the love of you so this is going to be someone like I said earlier very supportive like I'm hearing your rock 
I'm hearing like you're going to be their rock. They're going to be your rock. I'm hearing like generational wealth, generational family. You know, I'm thinking like, you know, this is someone that you're going to build with. So this could be someone that some of you may go into business partnerships with, or this will just be someone who will be supportive of a business that you're pursuing, whether that be financially supportive or just, you know, emotionally supportive, be there to help you. Um, cause I was getting like collaboration earlier with this energy partnerships I was hearing. So I do feel like whoever you're uh, attracting to you, whoever's coming into your life, this wish fulfillment is going to be that very, um, partner that many of you visualize, like, cause some of you didn't, you know, even though you could have been in marriages for 20 years per se, um, you felt like you were alone in that relationship because you never did, you know, marriage type things. Like, you know, you didn't shop together. You didn't do anything together, go to the movies. There were no date nights. There was no, there was no affection. You know, there was no physical touch. There was no emotion. There was none of those things. This person didn't speak your love language. Whoever you're attracting is absolutely going to handle all of that. They're going to tick every single box in that regard. Um, because their love language is perhaps pleasing, you know, their partner, you know, especially if it's a masculine energy, even if it's a feminine, like that, that is, you know, the role of that feminine and masculine is very similar. It is to, you know, cater to that, that, that partner, you know, four, 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 four. So you all are definitely, um, divinely protected. And you also have, you know, a lot of angels, I feel, you know, that are, you know, aligning you with your person, passion, and, you know, your, your purpose, you know, it's just like, there's, there's definitely a calling. I feel on a lot of you all, um, on your lives. I feel like many of you have been through some of the things you've gone through because those were some of those lessons you needed to learn so that you could help others. Perhaps maybe yours to be that beacon of light in, you know, your loved one's you know, life, you know, maybe you are that beacon of light, I should say, in your family, maybe you're the beacon of light at a particular job or in a particular area. Um, and so that's why you had to grow through what you did. And because you did so, um, so eloquently, so effortlessly, I mean, it may have been very difficult, but you made it look easy, you know, and this is why you have a lot of envy and jealousy because people think like, damn, like they still didn't break. Oh, let me get back to the drawing board and conjure up some more. And it's just like, they don't know what you endured. Um, and it's because you know how to put on like that strong face. Um, you never let your enemy see you sweat. And I just feel like whoever you're attracting to you this time around, you're not going to have to worry about those things. You're not going to feel like you're sleeping with the enemy. Cause I feel like in many of those former relationships, that's exactly what you were dealing, dealing with. You were sleeping with someone that was lying to you, you know, that was rolling over and, 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 you know, wishing you harm or rolling over and texting somebody else while they lay in the bed. You're like just little mean spirited things. And you're not going to have to worry about that because this person, I just feel this is going to be someone, if you're a cuddler, they're going to love to cuddle with you. You know, they're going to be mindful of your love language. So they're not going to be too cool for school. Like, no, I don't hold hands. You, what are you talking about? I don't kiss. Like, you know, like it's going to be, it's going to be a very loving um, and very um, attentive type of partner. So the energy that you have for what's hidden is you have the number nine. So that number nine is what we started off the reading with. But what does that say? Completion. And I was saying that that nine is the highest vibration of change that just speaks to things turning. So this nine is really showing that something is ending, endings, new beginnings. So the nine shows that whatever you were, you know, dealing with, even if this isn't your energy and whomever you're attracting to you or whatever you're dealing with, there's something that's done. There's something done. And every ending is going to denote a new beginning. With this 11 individuality, I mentioned some of you all had to learn to be independent because you could have been in co-dependent relationships. So this individuality is perhaps this new you, this new version of you. I definitely feel like there's progress that has been made um, in this, you know, on this journey, um, because you've had to, as I said earlier, kind of like get rid of those faulty belief systems that could have been keeping you stuck in a sense, you know, even if it was a frame of mind or some sort of lack mentality, um, you're now in the space where you feel more, um, you feel more confident. You feel like you have your independence and your independence is, you know, that foundation for your stability, um, for your security, for your happiness, for your peace. Uh, and that's where you're at right now with this too. Many of you may have had to listen to your intuition. Some of you could have been confused or conflicted in the past, um, in terms of, 
of, you know, perhaps like what direction to go in. What should I do? Should I leave? Should I stay? So look what showed right back up. I can't make this up. So we have in the bottom of the deck again, uh, the 11 individuality. That's powerful. So yeah, this is definitely showing that that's the work you did. So we have 11 individuality. Didn't I say y'all grew? You grew personally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And that's why, because when you, you change your mind, you change your reality. You implemented the change. You know, remember I was saying you were making changes and spirit corrected me and said, no, implementation. You implemented, like you didn't just say, oh, well, I, I need to make some changes. Like you implemented the change. So you could have made a decision to leave something or made a decision to change something. But whatever you did independently is how you grew. You know, and that seven is the crown. So you could have listened to your higher self. You could have listened to your Christ con or your, your intuition or used discernment in a decision that you made, which landed you in a better situation. And with this three creativity, many of you tapped into your, your divinity as that divine feminine, divine masculine. And you also have the spiritual partnership here as well, along with new beginnings. So everything I was saying, definitely you are breaking free from the old, you know, ideologies that, that, you know, it's just, I just get a sense of like, you know, many of you, oh, it, the, the chapters that you were trying to wrap up those cycles you were, um, attempting to wrap up. It was hard because whoever you was dealing with, they would not let you go. Like they, they had the, the grip, you know, the Kung Fu grip on you because it was just like, they, they knew once you left, it was a wrap, you know? So the card that flew out for the overall, I mean, for the outcome is love partnership. So many of you, this is what your wish fulfillment is going to be. Um, you're definitely going to come into some sort of special partnership, love partnership. Um, and this definitely could be something or someone that you've manifested because this eight, and then you got this 26, eight here. So that is eight, eight. And I was getting like, you know, a sense that you all knew how to manifest what you want, you know? Um, and that's how someone sees you as well. It's like you're a dream come true or wish come true. What we have in the bottom of the deck is we have foundations and achievements. So this is stability. This four represents what? The heart chakra, but it also deals with that number four, the 11, um, uh, the one, you know, the four is 11, 11, pardon me. So that's associated with the whole twin flame, um, you know, um, concept and having this spiritual partner that we just saw on the bottom of the deck. Um, so this is saying that, you know, this is someone that you will build with. This is someone that will be supportive. You know, this is someone that wants that family, that home, that hurt. So this is a beautiful energy on the split. It says the waiting game. So many of you, as I said, you may have been just, you know, feeling like you've been waiting forever. Or maybe many of you are, you know, kind of growing impatient perhaps, um, for this love connection to take place, but it isn't about waiting. You know, you see how you just kind of, you know, walking around in circles, pacing back and forth. And it isn't about that. It's about like, you know, still tending to yourself, tending to your seed, like, you know, the, the seed has grown and blossomed and bloomed. So there is something that's taking place. So what was once a thought or an intention, you can see it's physically, you know, manifesting. So that's a sign that, you know, whatever, you know, you've done spiritually, it's manifesting. And this is what you want. You want stability. You want security. You want love. You want happiness. You want peace. You know, you want, you know, that support. You want to feel um, like you are in a partnership, you know, you want someone that's going to speak your love language. So a couple of cards flew out and I feel like spirit chose those. So we have financial and material changes. So some of you all are going through some changes. There will be some change of changes necessary, you know, and what did I say about doing that shadow work? So this is what's changing, you know, as you change things around, you will change as well, you know, so perhaps, you know, your outer world is is starting to change and shift because your inner world has started you know you've started to work on your 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 inner self or your um inner world i should just say and you know doing that shadow work is is like i said it's going to ex excavate some some things some deep rooted emotions and feelings and and traumas um but it allows you to purge those things that no longer serve you or those things that have been weighing you down and so you know maybe some of those things were what was causing some sort of financial um and material changes but look what you do you emerge you know you, there's this door you see she's walked through the door so that zero is the fool so this is like you know taking that leap to start afresh to start anew 
You know, what did we say about this nine? That's the highest number and vibration of change. Every ending denotes a new, you know, um, an, a new beginning. So this is what this is, a very brand new beginning. But something had to change and shift. And what had to change is you had to kind of see things for what they were. You know, I spoke to the number 18 being the moon, and that's what this is. So there was someone that could have been reflecting back to you um, the work that you needed to do and vice versa. Um, and with looking up to you that was playing earlier, maybe this was that person um, that's now looking up to you because they see all these great strides and changes you've made. Look what we have here. We have this beautiful energy of positive movements forward. So you have moved forward because you've learned that the people that you were pouring into um, weren't necessarily reciprocating. So you grew emotionally bankrupt in those connections. Um, when there's not equal give and take, when there's not enough of, you know, that, that, reciprocity, then you're going to feel drained. You're going to feel emotionally kind of depleted or bankrupt. But this is showing that this is love of self, you know, moving onward and upward, you know, not, not giving up, but still maintaining that sense of hope and optimism that something better is out there. But this is the sign of self-love. You may have someone that may be, you know, coming towards you as well. There may be some sort of distance between you and another person, um, but I do feel like there is love. And look what we have here as well. You got the authority, which is, I mean, the, uh, yeah, authority, um, which is the emperor that I was speaking to as well. So, and look at this, partnerships. I can't make this up. Partnerships and alliances is here. So, yeah, this this is what this is all about. <laughs> you know, you, you've been through quite a lot, Scorpios, you know, and, and whoever that person is, it's almost like he's kind of like, so he could be seen almost as like kind of blocking a door, or blocking a path because there's these two pillars you know and pillars are you know it's a source like I always see pillars as you know when especially when you're in between those pillars it's like there's information that could come through um downloads you know upgrades you know um so this person could be someone that was trying to block you while you were on your path I don't know if this was like you know, a controlling husband or a controlling wife or someone at your job who is trying to block your success or block your blessings. I just get a sense of someone trying to block because this is a very closed off energy as well. You know, whenever you fold your arms, you're not open and receptive. Um, you're not inviting, you know, um, you're blocked off. This is, this is a very defensive body language and that's what this person is doing. And this is someone who's aware you know, that they're doing that. So that was an intentional act to perhaps um, disempower another person or make someone feel weak or make someone feel incompetent or something. So the cards that flew out, we have stand your ground. See that? So this is beautiful. So for the overall energy, stand your ground. I think that's exactly what you did. And this is also another seven. And what was I saying about asserting you know, I was getting a sense of asserting someone asserting themselves. So the overall energy is you're standing your ground. You're not backing down. You're protecting your peace in a nutshell. Like you're not allowing anyone to come in and, and, and you know, kind of shift you, your mood, your energy. You're not on that. You speak energy now. So you're standing your ground. You're standing perpendicular on your square. And you're definitely protecting your peace overall. Like you're not any, allowing anyone in with janky energy. Um, you're not allowing anyone in that has, you know, some ill intentions. Um, the song that's playing right now is we have a, a taste of honey and this is called Boogie Yugi Yugi. <laughs> so honey, I, I heard instantly, um, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, you know? Um, so that's what I'm getting a sense. Like spirit is saying, you don't even need to stoop to anyone's level. Even if you have a devil, like a pest, you know what I'm saying? You know, cause when you think of flies, they, they can be annoying, you know, just flying and buzzing. All living creatures need to live. Um, but they can be annoying, you know, especially, but flies and gnats to me, I, I just have, and, and them WBs, them WBs, just think about it. Water, mm. You know, I don't like to say those words because I always feel like when I say it, one pops up out of the blue. So it's just like, those are the things that I'm just like, oh, you know, but I, I try to let them, you know, live because all things deserve to live. But I just feel like spirit is saying, even with that pest, that, that devil, that energy that's just constantly looming and watching and worried about you, um, it's just like, still be your, your, your 
positive, loving, high vibrational self. Don't let anyone steal your joy because that's what makes you unique. You know, still be your caring, loving self. Not always to those who mistreat you. Don't be available to those people who take your kindness for, you know, for weakness. I'm just saying don't allow that type of energy to affect you um, from being who you naturally and uniquely are. Because we need more empaths and loving and caring um, individuals in the world. We don't need no more people that's like, I don't need no friends and I don't need this. And I, you know what I'm talking about? Like we need more of that love. So it's like still be you, but just be mindful of who you're being you with, you know? And so that's what I feel you're doing. You're standing your ground, you're speaking from your chest, and you're talking with base if necessary. You're not playing with nobody nowadays. And I feel like that's the energy you're exuding. This confidence that you have is definitely felt. Like you're not the same person because you have implemented the necessary changes. You have matured, you've grown up, and you're not that same person. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're just not. You know, I always hear that, you know, from time to time, I always hear that line from that Tyler Perry movie. Um, you know, um, the old Helen has died. And like she, she was like, when she got like revenge on her husband who was treating her horribly. So that's what I'm getting. Like that old version of you dead, gone is it, they, they couldn't, they can be resuscitated if you try it because you, you've transformed for the better. So in a nutshell, so we have Vesta Williams. Congratulations, beloved. Look at this. I can't make this up. Now this, I will show you because it, it definitely is in a, it, it, it aligns with what I'm saying. You know, that old version of you has died. And so spirit is congratulating you. Some of you all, your first, middle, or last name could be Williams. You may be dealing with someone named Vesta, um, someone with VW in their initials. But this is just showing me with congratulations. Spirit is rewarding you, recognizing you for standing your ground and for speaking up for yourself, for not backing down, for being bold, for being risky. And I feel that this is just showing that there's blessings. There's there's all kinds of, of wish fulfillment. There could even be just, you know, what I feel, um, just some sort of victories and success that's going to come through for you. So what we have here, look at this, spiritual strength. I can't make this up. You got spiritual strength here, number nine. And this is what we started the reading from um, with, and that's dealing with that hermit energy. And remember, this is clarifying the 61 self-love. So this is where you're at right now, Scorpios. I really strongly feel this is really speaking to you attracting, um, you know, this sense of um, self-awareness. You know, you've gone through some sort of powerful spiritual awakening, it seems. And in doing so, you've learned, um, you know, that loving yourself you know, is, is far more important than loving other people. You got to love you first. You got to prioritize, you know, what you desire and feel first and foremost over what others may, um, demand from you, if you will. But this is showing me that you all are chosen, that you all have some sort of spiritual gifts. You all have been initiated as I was picking up because I was getting a sense of like you being some sort of initiant, because uh, we saw that 7-7 seven, seven earlier of um, spirituality, which was also on the bottom of the deck that I didn't show because it was just too many cards to keep showing. But with the spirituality, that just gives me a sense, especially with that being such an auspicious um, energy um, and just seeing how this sage energy, the spirit, you know, is just there protecting you know, this, you can see it looks like he's graduated, but the hermit is a wizard and he knows the answers he seeks are found within. So this is almost like, you know, tapping into that Christ consciousness, that God frequency. There's a, a, a energy or spirit or your aura is just like, it's huge. It's, it's, it's powerful. You, you're just, you're powerful. And you have a lot of angels that walk with you. I get a sense of that as well. Like your angels have definitely, um, I just get a sense of like, like this, this sense of initiation, if you will, you know, but you are very spiritually gifted, you know, spiritually strong. So we have memories of love and this is how someone feels about you. This could be even just, you know, what you may be feeling right now. There could be these very, I don't know if there's some sort of nostalgic moments. This could be thinking about the past, thinking about, you know, having some sort of fond memories um, of the past, or maybe this is potentially someone from the past, um, that's thinking of you. Maybe, as I said earlier, some of you could be doing like love rituals on a particular person or on a particular situation. 
Um, someone could definitely be trying to manifest another person by doing, you know, some sort of um, candle magic because uh, we had that vision of love song playing and I just kept getting a sense that someone was manifesting and using visualizations. Um, maybe someone is definitely, um, you know, putting um, their intention into uh, a, you know, a candle, you know, but this is showing that there's something or someone from the past that may be potentially coming to you. Um, and with this eight and six, this reduces to 14, which is five. Um, so that is telling me that maybe there's a conversation that someone is, you know, hoping to have. Maybe someone is, you know, communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. Maybe someone is, you know, kind of visiting you in your dreams, astral traveling, um, but there is a sense of like, this is someone that's been holding you near and dear. Maybe this is someone that definitely like has been trying to manifest you in their life. You know, it could be a vice versa situation. Um, so we have third eye. So this third eye, this is what's clarifying what's hidden. Number nine, completion. So as I said, you use discernment and your intuition overall to make a decision to go in a completely different direction or to choose, um, you know, to choose uh, a particular direction that you ought to go in. I feel like there was just, you know, you, you just trusted what your intuition or what your, your gut instinct or gumption um, told you to do. And it was that, you know, change was necessary. You know, something is done, you know, and we all know whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So there's obvious, you know, signs that um, you may have been the only one trying to, uh, you know, m maintain a relationship or cultivate a relationship, but it, it requires the work of two people, especially. Um, so we have right now Karen White, someone's name could be Karen or White, first, middle, or last, but this is called The Way You Love Me. So we are about to clarify the card for love partnership. And what she says is, I love the way you love me. So that's going to be your energy. You're literally going to love the way someone loves you. And that's what I was feeling earlier. You're going to love the way they love you because I feel like this is, this is the person you manifested, like the characteristic, the attributes I was speaking of earlier, like they're going to, uh, they're going to obtain all of those. And so you're going to love the way that this person loves you because it's exactly your love language. So there is a uh, some financial and material changes that are taking place. This could even speak to, you know, positive changes, you know? So we have wish fulfillment. I told y'all I wish it was coming true. And this number uh, nine, see that? This is another card which looks like, you know, graduating, leveling up. He's wearing like a cap and gown. Same as here. So this is why your, your dreams are coming true or wishes are being fulfilled or prayers are being answered is because you've kind of graduated. You've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. This is like leveling up. This is like you reaching that level of self-mastery. And that's why there's going to be some financial and material changes because you're being rewarded. You're being um, recognized for the work that you've done on yourself. And you're going to love the way someone loves you because you definitely have, um, you know, been asking for this. So look what's the only card that's flipped over. See this? This is the only card and look what it is. As I said, you're going to be recognized and rewarded. Look what flipped over. This is what we are. This is where we are. I can't make this up. You saw me. You saw. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> love partnerships, recognition and rewards. This is what you're getting. You're, you're absolutely getting blessings, wish fulfillment. You're being acknowledged because this was not an easy feat. This was not an easy journey. What you've been, you know, what you've been dealing with for the longest time, I just get such a dreadful, it's been like, it's been daunting, <laughs> you know, is the only word that I could use. It's been daunting. It's been a long, long cycle. It's been a constant, like up and down emotional roller coasters. Um, I was getting a sense of someone not wanting to let you go. So there could have been a lot of manipulation and, you know, just kind of like, um, you know, just like I get a puppet master, kind of a trickster, you know, and you, you finally just kind of severed the ties and let that go. And you're being rewarded. You're being acknowledged. You're being recognized for the work that you've done. You know, look at this energy. This is a beautiful, powerful energy. All of the cards we just saw shows, you know, like leveling up, graduating. They're wearing capes. They're wearing, you know, that whenever you see someone wearing that, that's someone who is in a very high uh, ranking position spiritually. 
And that's what I feel. I felt like many of you had a calling on your lives, that you were being aligned with your person, passion, and, you know, even your, um, you know, your person, your passion, and your purpose. Um, and here we are, you know, so recognition and rewards. Uh, you can see the blessings are pouring down from, you know, the heavens, from spirit, from universe, from source, and we have solar plexus. So, you know, this energy shows strength. It shows vigor. Um, it definitely shows, you know, that you've stood erect, that you trusted your gumption, your in intuition and used discernment. See that? I told you I saw success and victories. You have a triumphant success. And I feel like what this Ace of Swords is showing is because you have, um, in many ways, you've purged things um, like I said earlier, like faulty belief systems, habits, behaviors, but more importantly, you, you, that old version of you is, is dead. You know, you're no longer that person. You no longer relate to some of the things that you may have formerly done, you know, because you have literally, you've transformed, you've grown, you've grown beyond that. You know, there's a lot of things that, you know, I don't do that I used to do five years ago because you're always supposed to be growing and elevating. And that's what I feel here. I feel like you cut yourself free. I also get a sense of like, you know, even with that solar eclipse, lunar eclipse and all of those powerful celestial energies, I feel that also um, took precedence that had a lot to do with a lot of these um, negative um, energies and this, this looming, you know, energy that needed to be kind of, 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 um, excavated and purged out for good, cleansed. Um, that's the reason why it's taken place. And I feel like for a lot of you, um, it took strength, courage, and wisdom to do this. I feel that you are very wise. Um, and look at that. I feel like, you know, this is where you are now. Um, you have victories and success because you've healed from the hurt that you were, you know, cause remember I was hearing that word, um, agony and so with heartache and loss, um, for many of you, it could have been love or it could have been circumstances that caused a lot of agony. What also, what always stands out to me is that where her head is, her crown, um, there is a window and then there's clouds. So I do feel like, you know, this is just speaking to like there being a lot of confusion, um, perhaps even illusion, not being able to see things clearly, which led to said heartache and loss. And when you started to focus more so on self-love, you know, and, um, you know, healing thyself, you know, cause love is an inside job. That's when you started to improve. That's when you started to trust even your intuition and you started to, um, you know, pay attention more so perhaps to what people were saying, you know, because this sword energy, that ace of swords, it's like you probably took on that energy of like a queen of swords or a king of swords where you weren't taken too kindly to anyone trying or attempting to insult your intelligence. So you could have cut people off that were that you may have felt was just like, you know, trying to dupe you or people who had like ulterior motives or people who were very, um, you know, um, manipulative or conniving. So let's tap in and get some messages from Tarot. I want to get some messages from Dark Grimoire. Oh, Shay. There's some messages from Tarot, and then we're going to wrap it up. You already know. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So wishes coming true, financial blessings coming through. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is the overall energy. Ace of Pentacles can mean, you know, anything. Like, getting a business loan, getting a job offer. This could be business booming. This could be you doing some business deals. Whatever this case may be. This is some new financial opportunity. And I feel like this is you definitely um, also being recognized, you know, by spirit with some no some sort of financial, uh, um, you know, this financial um, blessing, you know, if you will, we have the, uh, knight of swords. So there could be some mute, some communication, something coming in, um, pertaining some money. Like it's going to come in real quick. You know, there's, there's some news I'm getting news. So I'm going to spare the peace time question. What messages you have for my beloved Scorpios? And we have new birth. It's called, it's, uh, been a long time. And it's um, a song from 1974. Some of you could have been born in 1974. So some of y'all, like I said, with this memories of love, this could be someone from your past that you haven't spoken to. 
and I don't get like karmic. Maybe it was, you know, maybe there's a karmic, you know, that's trying to manifest you, or perhaps this is just you, um, attracting good karma, uh, where someone that you may have forgotten about or someone that you may have not heard from in a while. Cause I was remember, um, with that eight positive movement forwards, I was getting a sense of like there being some sort of distance, uh, between you and another person, whether it's communicatively, emotionally, or just physically, like, you know, distance. This could be like a long distance situation. Um, what we have here is the nine of wands with the ace of pentacles. So I do get a sense, like I said, like you're standing your ground. Um, you could have been felt very disappointed in your past. Like there could have been a lot of disappointments, a lot of people trying to, you know, kind of take it kind of for weakness. Um, and you had to learn slowly but surely um, to establish boundaries with individuals or to solely just like cut them off completely. Um, the three of pentacles showing up with that, uh, ace of pentacles. So yeah, that is again, the same energy here, you know, collaborating, working together. You can see here where this person is kind of like working together. So, you know, remember I was getting a sense of like someone, um, you know, kind of stealing ideas. I was getting like a shapeshifter. Hi, Katara. Hi, baby. Hi, little mamas. You feel with batters? <laughs> um, so, you know, you see this little goblin, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know. It, it, it looks like they're working together, but he's wearing like devil horns. You know, this is like, this is the shapeshifter that I was picking up. Like I was getting like somebody who's just kind of around you trying to act like they're um, being supportive. But I feel like there's an ulterior motive. Um, you know, and, and I'm hearing the word saboteur. So this is somebody that could be potentially trying to sabotage something. So you have to be mindful, you know, mindful of who you're around or mindful of who you are sharing, um, your personal business with, like who you're sharing your personal details, dreams, aspirations, desires with, because some folks don't want to see you happy. And some people, when they learn certain information, they try to use it against you so be mindful of that so in the bottom of the deck we have the same three of pentacles so be mindful i went into that whole you know diatribe so just be mindful that there could be someone that you have in your cycle that you could be you know in your cipher that you could be sharing certain information with that spirit is saying like you know this this is a demon like this this isn't this isn't a friend you know, you could be sitting there like, yeah, I could do this and that and look at the face like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then this person could just be stealing all your, your information. So just be mindful, you know, just be mindful, um, you know, um, because you do have some good, uh, you know, some good, some potential for good um, partnerships. But you just got to be you got to do your due diligence to know who's who use discernment. I just feel don't share. Honestly, I wouldn't share my personal business. And I feel like somebody like spirit is reminding you, like stand your ground. Like if somebody, if you find out somebody's like stealing your content on YouTube or stealing something like stand your ground, don't put up with it. Like, you know, take it to the fullest extent. You know what I'm talking about? Like protect yourself, you know, cause this is just like, to me, like someone who's, um, trying to take advantage or someone who's trying to take your kindness for weakness, you know, but you just be mindful. I'm going to get one more message. Why is this um, Three of Pentacles here clarifying the 44 environment, the five change? See how that's landed like that? I'm going to take that. And see that? The Four of Chalices. So this is someone, this is the Four of Chalices. So this could be an energy of like loss because this person feels lost. You know, they feel lost and they feel a sense of loss. So whatever, whomever this is, there was obviously some sort of separation ending because I see like a tower and then I see this big beautiful moon looming in the background. So this is someone who has some potential regrets, you know, missed opportunities. You know what I'm talking about? Like maybe you've moved on to other opportunities or other collaborations and someone is now feeling like they should have put forth the effort or, but this is just like, I feel lost with this energy here. I don't feel like this is someone, um, and maybe this is your energy. Oh, snap. Because what I'm getting, because these two people kind of look the same, even though this is the back of this person, this almost looks like the same person. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like this person is, you know, feeling the sense of loss after dealing, you know, with this demon seed here, who was like, because I was getting that word sh uh, shapeshifter. And then when I pulled out this card, that's what's sitting right there, you know? 
And so there was some dubious energy. I was picking up a dubious energy. It don't get no more dubious than a damn goon and goblin. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? So we have on the bottom of the deck, look, this strength card. I can't make this up. So you do confront this, this demon, you know, and you stand your ground. Because the strength card, like I said, that's when you turn pain into power. And that is the epitome of self-love. And that is why you've graduated to this place of spiritual strength. Because you knew who was walking with you. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is someone who's powerful. She's looking this demon in the face and she's unafraid. So you have learned to, you know, kind of take control of your own subconscious thoughts when it comes to things and not the way, you know, how it appears more so. Because remember with that, that card I was showing with the heartache and loss and I was like, the, what was standing out was the fact that her crown was where the window was, but there was a lot of clouds outside of there. So the confusion, and now I feel with this light, it's given her the clarity to see people for who they want, who they are. And they're not people, they're demons. So these are enemies. This is the devil. This is, you know, that, that envious, jealous and, and, uh, energy that she couldn't see before, but now she sees clearly. And not only is she facing that fear, but she's also confronting, you know, cause the only way that you can get through something is you know, confronting it, you know, you have to confront it. And so she's confronting it. All right. And once you do that, what do you, who you think is in a power in a, in a position of power? She is, she's not, she's not afraid, you know? So that's powerful. We have, um, Bob Marley again, stir it up. <laughs> so this person was trying to stir up some mess in your life and it, and it was exposed. I feel like, you know, as you kind of withdrew from the situation and worked on yourself, as I said, self-love, that always makes you more attractive, but it also makes you stronger. You know, it, it builds this, like the spiritual um, fortitude, you know, and that's why you have spiritual strength here because you, you've you become more emotionally intelligent to not confuse this type of energy anymore with, oh, this is my friend. This is someone that's supporting me. Nah, you're going to see the demon for who the demon is and you're going to call it a demon when you see it. So why is the 61 um, self-love and nine spiritual strength here for uh, what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So stir it up. Someone was trying to stir up some drama, stir up some mess in your life, and it didn't work. Look at that. Look at that. I can't make this up. I cannot. Look at the three of swords. And look at these gossip mongers. These are people sitting around gossip mongering, fear mongering, assassinating your character, trying to scare you, just like that devil was. And look at you. You see her body language? What did I tell you about a defensive body? Like you're not open to the nonsense. You're not even budging. You're not afraid. There's no fear here. You know, these are people that could be sending you like, um, you know, those, um, what do you call that? Um, hi, friend. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. I'm a pretty baby. You feel better. You had a little sick tummy earlier. Oh, that pretty mama. But you know how, um, you know, those, that, you know, at night, um, they send the little spiritual attacks that you, you know, to you at night during those um, witching hours is the word I was looking for. So maybe this is what you was dealing with. Some of y'all could have been waking up having nightmares, someone could have been doing some voodoo juju hoodoo, but you it didn't it didn't penetrate. You know, not only did it not penetrate, but you may have had like a, a, a wall of protection around you, but you also have your angels that are around you protecting you. But with this stir it up, you know, that was just playing, you know, by Bob Marley, this this is the type of energy you was dealing with. You was dealing with people who was just kind of conjuring up and trying to stir up drama in your life, trying to bring a lot of negativity to you. And, and now look at them. They feel stupid. They feel foolish. You know, if that's not them, that, that could be your energy where you you kind of learned from the past. You learned. Hi, friend. Are you trying to tell me you want food? Are you trying to tell you want some foodies? I want the foodies, Grandma. I want the foodies. Give me the foodies. I got to tell somebody else because I'm in the middle of a reading, my friend. And so we have here the page of swords. So you have somebody kind of spying. And what did I say? Remember earlier, we had that song, Look Up To You. And I expounded on that like two, three times, even after the song ended. 
So this is someone that's spying. This is an eye spy. This is someone that's constantly watching. They're either watching you or hearing you, whatever it is you do. If you have, because I just got the sense of like some of y'all may have like a podcast where you may, you know, you may discuss certain topics and someone could be listening to you literally. Because I, I get a sense of someone having headphones listening, but it could also be like you may have like a social media platform like YouTube or Instagram where you may do videos and they're watching. This is somebody literally watching you and, and kind of spying and they're learning because they have this this little light, you know, they have this little light that's kind of, um, you know, kind of um, giving them some sense of, of illumination, perhaps. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. Why is this eight manifestation and the six memories of love here? I do feel someone wants to speak to you, communicate, you know, and what we have that just flew out is we have the queen of wands. So this is your energy here. You know, you're in an energy where you're manifesting. You're, you're very powerful. Um, you're a take charge kind of person. Like I said, you could be taking on a fire type of energy to manifest, you know, cause even the, she's holding this, this, um, you know, this staff. Uh, that could also be used as an instrument for manifestation as well. And we have, um, who is this? Nobody. This this is by Nikki Howard. So it says, look at this. As I said that this is a staff which could also be used, you know, as an instrument to manifest. Look at the name of Nikki Howard's album. It's called Three Wishes. So I feel like you may have three wishes that are coming true for you. Someone's name could be Mickey or Howard, first, middle, or last. But with nobody, I just get a sense of like, you're not allowing anyone to, you know, especially with this manifestation card, like to get in between whatever this is that you're manifesting. You know, whatever this is that you're manifesting, like this is your your wishes will come true. Your dreams will come true. You may be growing impatient. You see how she's just sitting there like, ugh bored, you know, and remember what we said about patience also being that form of action. So you can't just sit around waiting for something to happen. Maybe that's what you're in is just you're growing impatient because we also had that waiting, the waiting game, you know, so you could be just kind of growing impatient for these wish fulfillments to come true. And spirit is saying those three wishes will come true. And what we have on the bottom of the deck yet again is the Ace of Pentacles, which is what we started the reading off. Whatever your dreams are, this Ace of Pentacles is saying you have a new, a fresh start. This is like bringing in a wealth of opportunities and financial blessings. I just feel blessings. Let me get one more card to clarify this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands. Um, the Queen of Wands is also very young energy, a younger energy. So many of you could be tapping in, you know, to that young energy. You could be revisiting some of your old ideas. Maybe you're looking in old journals and you're growing some, you know, inspiration and aspiration from, you know, kind of revisiting those things. Maybe you've bumped into some, some old friends from your childhood, um, you know, maybe one of them is someone that is like a soulmate. You may feel that's like a soulmate to you. So that's a beautiful energy as well. Let me get one more message. Why is this eight manifestations, six memories of love, and this queen of wands here for how this person feels about our Scorpios or how Scorpios are feeling? Thank you, spirit. Okay. And so we have the knight of chalices. So this is something that is rushing in. This could be someone very charming. This could be like, you know, this could be like an emotional um, exchange, like someone ex expressing some sort of emotion, some sort of feelings. Maybe this is that person you've been waiting for all along. You don't even know that they're coming. You know, they got their eye on you. They're watching. So with this energy, so we have, um, who is that? And this is Luther Vandross. And it says, don't you know this? <laughs> Many of you, you already know. I don't even have to ask you that. But spirit is like, don't you notice? Because you manifested it. <laughs> it's like, that's why they're like, don't you know? You know. <laughs> With this first eye, the third eye, you know, you know. Look at this. See that energy? Dubious. I told you. And this is somebody kind of cheat. Kind of, didn't I say someone didn't want to let you go? And even inside, even what appears to be you trapped you know, in this vessel, you, she's still utilizing her power, you know, she's still utilizing her power. She's still tapping into her, you know, her, um, alchemical force, 
You know, she's not just sitting in there crying, open, balled up in the corner, like, oh, I'll never get out of here. Like, she's literally, like, in there, like, hung, y'all. Know? <laughs> she calling on Archangel Michael. She calling on the Orishas. Like, she is summoning an energy, a power. She's not just sitting still. See that? And it's because you knew, you know? That's why I said, use your intuition. Speak energy. This person, whoever this is, somebody could be trying to do some you know, something to you, you know, trying to manipulate your energy in some way. And it flew out. So this is what's hidden. But spirit is saying this is a completion. It's, it's a cycle that's it, it, whoever this was trying to hold you black, back or block your blessings. And and I said black, you know, um, black is it's darkness. So this is a dark spirited person, a dark soul. You know, that's what I'm getting from that. This is someone that could potentially be doing black magic. So be mindful of that. And it says, don't you know this? Someone's name could be Luther or Vandra, um, Vandross. Let me get one more message to clarify. Why is this uh, this demon seed sitting here overly concerned with Scorpio? Why is this nine completion six uh, third eye? Thank you. And I got these cards in my hand. So apparently there's a lot to expound upon. So we have eight of chalices see that you're not interested so this could be that person from the past that was trying to keep you stuck and hold you up from what you like she looked like she busy she on her way and you know you ever if you ever been to new york or a big city you could be minding your business walking and hear somebody come hey hey you want to buy such a it's like no move like move along like if i want something i'll go to the store and purchase it but this is that energy like this is someone trying to dupe you into you know buying what they're selling you're not falling for the okie doke so this is a very manipulative and calculating and cunning type of energy so we're going to start off with this card so they're trying to block your blessings they're trying to stop you from having this new beginning this is the ace of wands so there's obviously a cycle that's completed and what did i say about someone not wanting to let you go someone not wanting to let the situation end you know, and you needing to see the truth or see the, you know, the truth of the matter, you know, and protecting yourself more importantly, because this person could be resorting to, you know, some, uh, some, uh, devious means to keep you stuck and stagnant. So this energy, this ace of wands, what's hidden is that this person is trying to block your blessing or trying to block you from having this fresh start, this new beginning. What did I say? There goes the tower. So this tower is falling regardless. And remember what I was saying, I was seeing this tower right here in the backdrop. So regardless of what this person is trying to do, even them trying to be cunning, trying to manipulate, trying to, you know, kind of shape shift just to be around you, this tower is falling regardless because every ending denotes a new beginning. So this is a change. This is what needed to change because there was a lot, of, a lot of illusions. There was a lot of lies, deception. There was a lot of manipulation. There was a lot of gaslighting. There was just a lot of fakeness. And this is someone that wanted to control this is someone that was trying to block you from moving forward and moving on with your life. And they ain't stopping isht. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't stopping nothing. We got Wendy Houston, Houston, all the man that I need. So you about to get all the man, all the woman that you need. Someone could be from New Jersey, Newark to be um, exact. We got four of pentacles. What did I say about somebody holding on to you? I cannot make this ish up. Didn't I say somebody was holding on to you? This is the four pentacles. And this, this is, you see how he's holding on to this book? This could be that same energy of like someone like holding on to memories. If this is someone from your past, maybe they're holding on to an old photo album, looking through it, crying, weeping. But this, look at this. They, they, they don't speak to you because their mouth is sewed shut. So it's almost like they done, you know, it's like whatever they said in the past, maybe this person can't find the words. Maybe this person is unable to express or emote what they feel, you know, maybe this is someone who's very proud, but you can see clearly there's a chalice on this um, nightstand, which means that this person has love, but they are like, they can't, they can't um, open their mouth. So they can't drink, they can't eat and they're losing weight. You know what I'm saying? So this is someone who's really in a bad place. Someone could have had uh, some sort of spell put on them. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is, this is a very low vibrational energy. And you can see these little demons hiding in the background. Somebody could literally have someone who has done, you know, some sort of spells on them. You can see these two demons right here. And look at this person holding on, holding on to you. And the last energy, look at this. That's why they're holding on. Look at you, the empress. I can't make this ish up. The empress, goddess. I told you I was feeling that regal royal energy. We done saw the emperor. Now we see the empress. 
And this is the energy. This is why they're trying to hold on to you because this is what you, you know, how you're presenting yourself. This is what you, you know, the energy you exude, the confidence, the power, the strength, the, that leadership that showed up earlier. That's you. She's a boss. You know, she's the umi. She's the mother, the matriarch, the paternal, um, you know, or um, paternal energy, the patriarch of the family. That's what that uh, empress and emperor represent. This is someone who's very much aware of their worth, their value. And you can see looking up. They're looking up to you. See that? Looking up to you now. In the past, they may, look at this, bowing down. In the past, they may have done you dirty, did you wrong. And now they have no choice but to look up to you because you know why? Because you've worked to get to this place of self-love, self-value, of self, um, you know, self-respect. Um, and look at these mouths in the back, still gossiping, still talking ish, but they behind you. You ain't looking at them. You're looking past them and you're not going to fall for the okie doke. You're not falling for the same old tired, you know, lines. Look at this demon face, you know, with all hooded in a dark alley trying to sell you something like boy by girl by like. This is what you're moving forward to. And you're being recognized because you didn't fall into these traps. Because you've th this is like entrapment. This is entrapment. See that? Someone sitting there beguiling, you know, acting like they're there working with you. This is also entrapment right here. You know, this energy. And you're about to come into alignment with all the man, all the woman that you need, according to Whitney Houston. Like I said, and this is, um, I'm your baby tonight. We got all the woman you need playing by Whitney. Rise and power, beautiful soul. Rise and power to all of those who came on the playlist today that are no longer in the physical. So this is what you are dealing with. You're not falling for the okie doke. You are too wise. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like you can't heal if you ain't going to be real. And, and you clearly have been real. So look, what, what, look at this judgment. You're getting your just due. Your just due. This is based off of everything that you've done in the past. Things are working out in your favor. Things are turning around. You don't have a wake up call. I definitely feel like justice is on your side. And this has a lot to do with the decisions you've made. You've had a breakthrough. And there's happier days ahead. You got two rainbows on the car. I literally saw um, two rainbows last week. I saw one one day and another day. And I took um, some pictures. But it's just like we 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 called it. Now we're at the point where we be like, "This gonna we gonna see a rainbow." Well, so we 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 manifest them, <laughs> and they're always right in front of my house. It, it never fails. So we have here. Look at this: the five of chalices. See that? So I was talking about you know you leaving things behind. Look at how distressed folks are, and you you like I'm out. You know, and that's what you're doing. You're leaving the situation behind because you're on to bigger and better. And you're on to someone who's going to be all the woman or all the man that you need. You, know, you don't have time to put up with this this beguiling, uh, negative, low vibrational, envious, jealous, controlling, manipulative energy. That is this nasty energy. Who has time for that? You got to sleep with one eye open. Like you can't even rest well. And I was feeling sleeping with an enemy. You know, so you're moving on. Let me get one more message. Why is this 26 love partnership and the recognition and reward and the judgment card here for my beloved Scorpios for the outcome? And we're going right out. Let me get a message. Thank you. Okay, you got several. Do I take these? They said yes. Okay, we're going to take them. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, so wish fulfillments, thing moving forward. You know, you're moving forward. Things are moving in a, you know, in the right direction. I feel like there's going to be, um, you know, some, some sort of unexpected, um, you know, something that's happening unexpectedly. And we have the 10 of wands. See that? So look at, you see this mouth he's coming out of that. That's, that's all the lies and the deception. I feel someone else is also waking up. Katara, what are you doing? Like, are you, are you serious? <laughs> she over here making all this noise. You're trying to get my attention. I understand. She's trying to tell me she wants some food. I'm about to wrap this up and I'll get you some food, okay? 
Please don't scratch my rug. Please. Thank you. I love you. All right. So this Ten of Wands, this is the end of a cycle. You're no longer falling for it. This mouth that is coming out of, that definitely is showing that there was a lot of deception. You see how bedazzled he looks? Not bedazzled, but dazed. You know, he looks, he looks overwhelmed. He looks tired. He had to gnaw and fight and claw to get up out of, you know, whatever this this illusion was, you know, this was difficult. This wasn't easy, you know? And so there was a lot of lies. There was a lot of gaffling. I was just getting a sense of like someone with the gift of gab. So someone just knew how to talk, you know, someone into, you know, cause words are spells and spells bind. So someone was definitely, you know, um, caught up in the rapture just by someone's words. You know, um, what we have here is the wheel, the wheel of fortune. That's another 10. So, so far you got 10, that's a 10, and this is a 10, and the card underneath is also a 10. So the Wheel of Fortune, something that's destined. I also felt like you had, you know, things turning in your favor, you know, but this is also saying that there is a lot of blessings. You're going to be very fortunate in this very um, beautiful new beginning that's taken place. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles. See that? That's family. This is that beautiful love partnership. That union, remember I was feeling like you had someone that's going to be supportive, protective, but this is that person you manifested. So they're going to take every single one of those boxes that you had written in your manifestation journal when it pertained to love. So this is like, look at this union, look at this unity, you know, family, you know, see that the five of pendants, someone's going to be pissed. They're going to be butt hurt because you're moving on. And you're no longer falling into that trap of just like, oh, okay, settling for what someone is saying and, you know, getting sucked deeper into the abyss. Like, nah, you're, you're over it. So you're finally over. This wasn't easy because, you know, this is the equivalent of like that tunnel, you know, um, they say when you're going through hell, you got to keep going, you know? So that's what this person did. When you think of like, when, like this just made me think in my mind's eye, I saw, um, that clip from the movie Shawshank Redemption. And remember when he was an innocent man locked up all these years, he, he was violated and he went through hell. But what he did was he outsmarted everybody and he dug a hole out of that facility, out of that prison cell. And he had to climb through the nastiest, I'm talking about the sewage of the prisons, you know, so we talk about all kind of fecal matter and, ugh, you know, but he did it. He climbed through it. And that's what I, it made me think of that, you know, it, it was tiresome. It was hard, but you, you made it to the other side. So that, that's like, you, that cycle is done. It's like all of the, the, the stress and the aggravation of that, that period in your life, it's over. You know, you've made it, you, it's like, you've seen your way clear almost. And this four swords is someone stuck in a place of, you know, regret. You know, um, this could even be like mourning the loss. You know, maybe this is the position of, you know, someone that you dealt with in the past, a karmic who's going to be mourning the loss of you, this relationship, this connection. Um, and they're not going to believe, you know, see that the nine of swords, see that someone is realizing that they were the problem. They're the demon seed, you know, because when you look at this person from this side, it doesn't look like he's a monster, but when he looks in the mirror and that was the shadow work that was required. So someone needed to, you know, do some shadow work to, um, you know, self-reflect and to heal. And look at this in your power, the queen of cups, you're sitting here because you used your first eye to see. And so everything, you know, is very crystal clear to you right now. And what's most important is you love yourself. And because you love yourself, that is vibrating, you know, that's vibrating, that's emitting. And so you're going to naturally attract everything beautiful that you deserve, that you desire. And this is your energy, you and your energy. And this is the outcome. And this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and dabbing in. Until next time, send a big fat eye. Peace, power, protection, y'all. I love you. Peace.